Hey team, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm and I am Mackie. And on this channel, we bring the mountain bike race experience to you. And today we are simulating the start of an EWS stage. Oh, I like that. By sitting in a traffic jam for two hours. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that like nice spin on it. Because this is I like exactly it. what EWS racing is like. Yeah, hurry up and wait. So yeah. we were hurrying and now we're waiting. <laughs> We've been here for almost an hour at this point. This has been up there in like bad cross country drives. My leg hurts. Snowstorm, lots of crashes. And now we're not moving. Well, since we are just sitting here, should we tell people the big news? Big news is that we will have a new bike sponsor going into 2020. Whoa. After four years, for wonderful, amazing years working with Jameis Bikes, we have parted ways. And obviously that's a big change for us. We started working with Jameis in 2016. This was the first time we were truly able to race full time and support ourselves. With Jameis's support, we were able to race a full schedule of Enduro World Series and US Enduro events that year, including traveling to Chile and Argentina for the first two EWS events. While in Chile, we also worked with Jameis to shoot the launch video for their new enduro bike, the DEFCON. This is how it's gonna be. This is what you think of me. It's going down like I told you. This is how it's gonna be. Later in that same year, we collaborated on another video with Jameis for the new Komodo Plus Hardtails. This video involved an awesome three-day shoot in our hometown of Taos, New Mexico. In 2017, with support from Jameis, we traveled to New Zealand and Australia for more EWS racing. Well, I guess that's the benefit of it raining. Plenty of water around. That year, we also raced a full National Enduro Series season and Sid placed fourth and I placed fifth. This was also the year we started the Sid and Mac YouTube channel and posted our first YouTube videos. Hi, I'm Sid. And I'm Mackie. And we're professional mountain bikers. Although we had no idea what we were doing. Uh, the river was that way, so I would go this way and see what we find. This is so strange. In 2018, we were able to ride the first prototypes of Jameis's 3VO bikes. 27.5, 160 mil bike, the Hardline. Super progressive, super aggressive 29er that also climbs really darn well because of this crazy suspension system. Being able to be involved in the process of designing a bike from prototypes to production was a very cool experience and we're proud to be a part of these bikes. Oh, that's gonna be a slick looking bike. 2018 was also the year we began to find a community here on YouTube and post videos more regularly. Going forward, we want YouTube to be a priority. 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> Big thank you to all of you. Our channel is now at 15,000 subscribers. This year, 2019, we raced the Jameis Portal and Hardline in a wide range of events. I made the decision to go ahead and race all of the Sea Otter mountain bike events. So today I'm racing Enduro, Saturday I'm racing Dual Slalom, and Sunday I'm racing Cross Country and Downhill. Everything from Cross Country stage racing to Enduro, multi-stage downhill racing.
and we continued building our YouTube channel, passing 40,000 subscribers and building an awesome community on Patreon. Basically, we invited everyone who's on Patreon to come out and ride our favorite trails in New Mexico, our home trails with us for the weekend. We wanted to make this video because even though we are going separate ways from Jameis in 2020, we are very, very grateful for everything they have done for us. They really took a chance on us. We'd been racing, but we just weren't that established and they treated us like professional racers. Without their support, we would not have been able to invest the time that we did into starting a YouTube channel. Like, totally. We couldn't have done that if we were also working other jobs and racing. At this point, I know some of you are probably wondering why we are leaving. And I think the truth is just like, Sometimes partnerships come to an end over four years that we've been working with Jameis. Our goals have changed a lot, as have theirs. Like these sort of relationships evolve and sometimes it just kind of gets to a point where it doesn't make sense. The end of any partnership like this is really sad. Like we were mm -hmm. pretty sad about it, but we also knew that like we were making the right decision for us and what we needed to do, you know, for ourselves. So that's difficult, but it, I think it's really important. And you know, we are looking forward to what we've got going in 2020, which we will announce in the beginning of the year, but we're also really looking back really fondly on the past mm -hmm. four years. It was a great relationship. It was a great relationship. And really like, Although we won't be racing for Jameis anymore, we'll still be seeing them at events. We'll still be hanging out with them. Like they're, yeah. they're friends of ours and that's not gonna change.